Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing the demo to a game called Dagon, what is primarily supposed to be a first-person interactive visual novel based upon the H.P. Lovecraft story of the same name. Now, the full version isn't out until later on this year, I think it's August 2021 it's going to be released, but you can actually get this demo for free right now, and I'll leave the links and the details down below in the description, alright? You can play this with or without VR as well. Now, I don't think this demo is going to be terribly long. I think it's more of a teaser than anything. It might last 5, 10, possibly 15 minutes, if that, but it should give us a good indication of what we're in for in a few months' time. I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. Here we go. Let's begin the demo to Dagon. I am writing this under an appreciable mental strain, since by tonight I shall be no more. Very positive start to the game. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Can't seem to move. Um, but maybe I can have a look at this? Penniless, right. and at the end of my supply of the drug which alone makes life endurable, Oof. I can bear the torture no longer, and shall cast myself from this garret window into the squalid street below. That's your fate, is it? Oh boy. Yeah, a very, very positive start to the game, it seems. Do not think from my slavery to morphine that I am a weakling or a degenerate. No, I, I wouldn't dare. When you have read these hastily scrawled pages, you may guess, though never fully realize why it is that I must have forgetfulness or death. Hmm, right. Okay, so I suppose this is going to be the general gameplay of the game. We're, we're put in a scene and we're just going to identify the things we can interact with. I suppose these pages are just waiting to be hastily scrawled, right? <laughs> it was in one of the most open and least frequented parts of the broad Pacific that the packet of which I was supercargo fell a victim to the German Sea Raider. That being the German Sea Raider? Okay. Yeah, I quite like this. This is a little bit different. Right, let's have a look. The oh. Great War was then <laughs> its very beginning and the ocean forces of the Hun had not completely sunk to their later degradation. Not quite yet. So that our vessel was made a legitimate prize, whilst we of her crew were treated with all the fairness and consideration due us as naval prisoners. Okay. I'm just trying to remember Dagon, the short story, because I have read it. It was quite a while ago, but based on my recollection, this is following it beat for beat. Um, the lifeboat? Okay. So liberal, indeed, was the discipline of our captors, that five days after we were taken, I managed to escape alone, in a small boat, with water and provisions for a good length of time. Ah, wonderful. Okay, what are we waiting for? Oh, right, the water and provisions. <laughs> That's right. So I got away. When I finally found myself adrift and free, I had but little idea of my surroundings. Hmm. No landmarks on the horizon. Never a competent navigator. I could only guess vaguely by the sun and stars that I was somewhat south of the equator. Okay, right. Of the longitude, I knew nothing, and no island or coastline was in sight. I can see that. The weather kept fair, and for uncounted days I drifted aimlessly beneath the scorching sun, right. waiting either for some passing ship or to be cast on the shores of some habitable land. And it seems like so far, I've seen neither. Hmm. But neither ship nor land appeared. Yeah. And I began to despair in my solitude upon the heaving vastness of unbroken blue. Nothing to do but sunbathe. The change happened whilst I slept. The change? Its details I shall never know. For my slumber, Though troubled and dream infested, was continuous. Go on. Oh. Hello. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, hi. When at last I awoke, it was to discover myself half sucked into a slimy expanse of hellish black mire, which extended about me in monotonous undulations as far as I could see. Cool. That's a pretty good look, honestly. And in which my boat lay grounded some distance away. Yeah, I can see that. What the hell happens? What's that over there? Though one might well imagine that my first sensation would be of wonder 
at so prodigious and unexpected a transformation of scenery, I was in reality more horrified than astonished. Well, I can understand that. For there was in the air, and in the rotting soil, a sinister quality which chilled me to the very core. I imagine this would look very good in VR. The region was putrid with the carcasses of decaying fish, and of other, less describable things which I saw protruding from the nasty mud of the unending plain. Yes, I can see a few of them. Perhaps I should not hope to convey in mere words the unutterable hideousness that can dwell in absolute silence and barren immensity. Hmm, no. There was nothing within hearing, and nothing in sight save a vast reach of black slime. Yet the very completeness of the stillness and the homogeneity of the landscape oppressed me with a nauseating fear. Well, I can understand why. I mean, how... how on earth did you get to this place? The sun was blazing down from a sky which seemed to me almost black in its cloudless cruelty, as though reflecting the inky marsh beneath my feet. Right. So it, it, it seems like this just rose out of the sea, pretty much immediately, taking all the life with it. Yeah. Okay, the boat? As I crawled into the stranded boat, I realized that only one theory could explain my position. Go on, I'm waiting. <laughs> this is going to be good. Through some unprecedented volcanic upheaval, okay. a portion of the ocean floor must have been thrown to the surface. Pretty much, exposing yeah. Exposing regions for which innumerable millions of years had lain hidden under unfathomable watery depths. Yeah. And unfortunately, a few fish were caught up in it. So great was the extent of the new land which had risen beneath me that I could not detect the faintest noise of the surging ocean, straining my ears as I might. No. No, not at all. It looks like a vast desert. A vast, muddy desert. Nor were there any sea fowl to prey upon the dead things. No. Odd. For several hours I sat thinking or brooding in the boat, which lay upon its side and afforded a slight shade as the sun moved across the heavens. Hmm. Yeah, thank God you got that right. As the day progressed, the ground lost some of its stickiness, and seemed likely to dry sufficiently for travelling purposes in a short time. Okay, so we're going to make that a move? Night I slept but little, and the next day I made for myself a pack containing food and water, All right. preparatory to an overland journey in search of the vanished sea and possible rescue. Alright, so just pick a direction and hope, basically. I don't know, follow the stars, possibly? Right, here we go. On the third morning, I found the soil dry enough to walk upon with ease. Okay, so you're not going to sink into it this time. The odour of the fish was maddening, but I was too much concerned with graver things to mind so slight an evil, and set out boldly for an unknown goal. Okay, and this unknown goal is going to be in which direction? Over there, we're going towards the sun. Alright. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and that is where the demo ends. Yeah, more of a teaser than a demo, but I like what I played. Yeah, I think this could be a really interesting narrative experience. I don't know how long the full game will be. As I recall, Dagon is a pretty short story, so it might last an hour or so, maybe less, maybe a little bit more. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, I'll be checking this out, especially if the full game is free, like I think it's supposed to be. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed that, and uh, I'll look forward to the full release. Thanks for watching, see you next time. I am writing this under an appreciable mental strain, since by tonight I shall be no more. Very positive start to the game. <laughs> right, let's have a look. The oh. great wall was then. <laughs> the change happened whilst I slept. The change? Hellish black mire, which extended about me in monotonous undulations as far as I could see. Cool. One theory could explain my position. Go on, I'm waiting. <laughs> this is going to be good.